Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we are looking at the slope of a line as part of the coordinate geometry chapter. Uh, there are two ways of finding the slope, one using a formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or you could use it as a graph where it's written as rise over run. Now we'll get to the rise over run at the end of this video, uh, but first of all, we're gonna look at using our formula here y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. Now for using your formula, you need two coordinates. You can see here you're gonna need an x1, a y1, and a second coordinate which we label x2, y2. Before we get to an example, I just want you to see here different ways of writing uh, the slope. Uh, the question could just ask you plainly to write down the slope of AB. It could come up like this, find AB without the brackets. You'll also see in your log tables those modulus lines around AB, which mean distance. So check another video for that. The letter we use for slope is M. So it might say find M, which relates to the slope. And another word for slope is the gradient. So they're just ways of writing the slope. Coming over to our example here on the right hand side, I'm saying find the slope of the line AB and I've given the two points A and B. Like any exam question we do, which involves a formula, we should always, first of all, write down our formula. So my formula here is slope or M is equal to Y2 take away Y1 over X2 take away X1. I'm then going to write down my two points before I sub them in. So my A and my B, and I'm going to label them X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So that's labeling the coordinates. I've also put down my formula. Now I'm going to sub my coordinates into my formula. So it's M is equal to Y2, first of all, and my Y2 is minus four. So I'm gonna write down my minus four. Then the, the formula tells me to use my subtraction. So I'm gonna subtract my Y1. My Y1 is zero. So I'm, I'm subtracting zero. That's all being divided by my x2 and the value of my x2 is negative one. I'm then putting back in the minus from the formula and I'm now subtracting the value of my x1 and my x1 is a value of three. So I'm subbing in my three. I'm just gonna make a bit of room here and bring it up to the right. So that is giving me a slope of minus four take away zero, which is minus four. I can basically just drop the zero over minus one take away minus three. So I'm on minus one on my number line and I'm going back a further three units brings me back to minus four. Minus divided by minus we know makes a positive and four divided by four gives me one. So my slope is giving me positive one. That's the slope of this line. Now basically all that means is that if we do a very quick sketch here, an XY graph, and I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and my Y, and then we go back minus one and down minus one and so on. Basically what it means is that for every unit uh, I draw my line, it's increasing by one. So you can see here, if we were to use our rise over run method, uh, if I was to go to two, and it goes up and hits the, the line, it will also bring me across to two on the Y axis. So there's your rise and your run. Your rise is what's going up, your run is going across. And if I was to divide my rise by my run, I would get rise divided by run, which is giving me two divided by two, which is one. And that is the same answer as did we got over here. Now, it doesn't have to be proportional. It doesn't have to start at zero, zero. That's just a, a quick sketch on just uh, showing you what you've achieved. So the slope in this particular question is a slope of one. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.